This is Bruce Jansen for the Global Medical News Network. Greetings from San Diego, site of the annual meeting of the American College of Chess Physicians where thousands have gathered to talk of all things chest. This is a very effective, uh, one and probably one of the most effective treatment strategies to help smokers with COPD. Dr. Donald Tashkin of UCLA presented a large double-blind randomized trial of varenicline for smoking cessation in patients with COPD. 42% of the varenicline group remained abstinent throughout the three-month treatment period, a rate nearly five-fold greater than with placebo. Smoking is the most important risk factor for both developing COPD and for the progression of the disease. Patients with COPD who continue to smoke despite the fact that they've developed a symptomatic smoking-related disease are hardcore of smokers who find it more difficult to quit than smokers without a smoking-related disease. COPD. So it was rather uh, gratifying to find in the Varenicin COPD that these patients with COPD quit in, in the same proportion as smokers in the general population in previous trials. Now we know that people who quit smoking frequently relapse. It's a common phenomenon. Usually about half of the quitters relapse to smoking within a year. So it's not surprising that the continuous quit rate declined over the year, but nonetheless, at the end of a year, almost 20%, or 18 plus percent, of the varenicline patients remained absent for the entire year, as opposed to a little under 6% for the patients receiving placebo. How does varenicline stack up against bupropion? Bupropion is the only other pharmacologic aid other than nicotine replacement that has been found to be effective uh, in helping smokers quit. Uh, but nonetheless, the effectiveness of bupropion in the study that I was involved in uh, was less impressive than the effectiveness of varenicline in this particular study. So, first-line treatment? I would think that varenicline would be first-line therapy for patients with, uh, with COPD who continue to smoke, yes. This is Bruce Jansen saying so long for the Global Medical News Network.